Okay, so Foundation Pilot Paper 1, 2011, question 12. So you have four shapes, a cylinder, a hexagon, a tetrahedron, and a cuboid. And you need to complete the table. So it is not a 3D shape. So a cylinder is 3D, a hexagon is 2D. So that's going to be Q. It has eight vertices. Uh, vertices means corners. So a cylinder doesn't have any corners. A hexagon is a 2D shape. A tetrahedron is a shape with four triangular faces. So that has one, two, three, four vertices. And a cuboid that has eight vertices. So that is going to be S cuboid. It has two circular faces. That would be a cylinder because that one has two circular faces. It's 3D shape. And the last one is exactly four triangular faces. That's going to be a tetrahedron. Okay, 20, question 13. It says, in 2010, Michelle drove her car 11,890 miles. Overall, the car travelled 39 mile, miles to the gallon. The cost of a gallon of petrol was 596. By using approximations, estimate, as a keyword, estimate the cost per week of the petrol. So, she drove 11,890 miles miles. First thing I want to do is estimate all of these parts. So estimating, that's about 12,000 miles. 39 miles to the gallon is going to be estimated at about 40. And we've got £5.96. That's going to be estimated at around £6. That's the first thing you should do. Then we know that she drove 12,000 estimated miles and it travels 40 miles to the gallon so we want to work out how many gallons she's going to use so we're going to divide by 40 and that would give us correct that sorry that's going to give us three hundred okay now then the cost per gallon we estimate it to be six pounds. So using 300 gallons, 300 times six pounds is going to be 1,800. Okay, now I want to know the cost per week. Now then, there are 52 weeks, which we can round to 50 weeks. So this is the cost over the year. For one week, per week, equals the cost per year, divided by the number of weeks, which is £36 per week. Okay? Question 14. Sample space diagram, probability, so that a little bit. So, Contains four number discs, one, three, five, and six. Okay, and four cards, red, yellow, blue, and green. Take one disc and one coloured card. Okay, always look for the bit that says the score. So the score is calculated as follows. If this card is yellow, red or yellow, the score is the number on the chosen dice. Always keep out your key bits first. If it's blue, the score is double the number. If it's green, the score is three times the number. Okay, so now let's fill in our sample space. So that's all done for you. Right then, it says, we got picked out a green. So we look at our thing, it says the green, the score is three times the number. So three times three is gonna give me nine. Another green, three times the number, three times five, it's gonna give you 15. Okay, blue, the score is double the number. So we've got three there, it's gonna be a six, and a six there, Double that's going to be 12. And there's our thing filled in. And we don't need that information at the top at the moment. Find the probability that less than 5. So we look at our sample space and we decide how many scores are less than 5. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. So 6 scores are less than 5. And remember, probability is always written as a fraction or percentage or decimal tends to be fractions and it can't be greater than one. So to write as a fraction, so six out of how many choices are in total, 
4, 8, 12, 16. So 6 out of 16. Okay. If a, a player wins, it is less than 5. Okay, so we've already worked out the probability of less than 5. If 160 people play, how many would you expect to win? So we know that 6 out of 16 people win, because we worked that out here. And 160 of those play. So 6 out of 16 times 160. Now remember, this is non-calculator. So what I would do next is this means divide by 16. So I do 160 divided by 16 is 10. So divide by the bottom and then times by the top. So do 10 times 6 is 60 people. Okay, question D. Cost 50p to play the game once. The prize is £1. 160 people play. How much profit? Standard question. So 50p to play the game once. 160 people play. The first thing I want to do, convert that into pounds. And then work out the cost of 160 people playing. Or how much they would earn from 160 people playing. So that's the same as halving 160. That's just going to be £80 they make. Okay. Now then, the prize of winning is a pound. So we know that 60 people won times a pound. So £60 is won by people. So they took £80, £60 is won by people. So they took £80, but they lost 60 of it, people winning. So in total, they made £20 profit. Okay, question 15. Indices question. Now remember, the big number is different. So we have to work at each part separately. It's got 2 to the power of 3. So 2 to the power of 3 is the same as 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. 5 to the power of 2 is the same as 5 times 5 is 25. Remember, this means how many times you write out the big number and then you multiply them. So we have 8 times 25. Going back up here, we've got 8 times 25, which is just going to be 200. So answer. Next one, subtracting fractions. Remember, rule with subtracting or adding fractions, the bottom number needs to be the same. At the moment, it isn't. So we need to find what's the common denominator, common bottom number of 8 and 4. And we know the number that 8 and 4 can go into is going to be 8. So we want to make the both of them, the bottom, 8. So the first one's fine. It's already done. To make this 8, we need to times it by 2. Whatever you do to the bottom, do to the top. So we get 2 of 8. Then, remember, add and subtract in fractions, just change, work out the top. So 5 to equal 2 is 3. Bottom stays the same. It's like having 5 eighths. You've lost 2 eighths. So you've now got 3 eighths. Okay, cube root of 27. That means the cube root of 27. What times is it by itself 3 times to make 27? We find this tricky, work your way up the numbers. So do 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. Okay, it's not that. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. It's not that. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So that's why the answer is going to be 3. Okay, question 16. Scatter graph. Scatter diagram. So it's the height and weight of 15 people. It's already drawn for you. Write down the height of the heaviest of the 15 people. So heaviest weight is along the bottom. So find the heaviest weight. It's going to be this one here. Go up. If you need to use a ruler, do. Go across and find out how much, how high was that person. That person was 170 centimetres. Can we all see that for me? Okay. Write down the weight of the shortest. So we use this time the height. Find the shortest person. And it's going to be there. And then read down. 